Ladies and mostly gentlemen, today we're going to talk about mounts and more specifically a mounting Corthia called Dark Maul and uh, how to obtain it. And it's fairly easy, it doesn't take too long. Uh, so, yeah, it's going to be a nice, easy mount guide for you. But before we get into that, guys, just want to shout out my Twitch, twitch.tv slash MrGM. If you want to see me streaming World of Warcraft every single day, I'm over on twitch.tv slash MrGM every single day. Right, so Dark Maul, yeah, Dark Maul. I thought this was maybe a reference to Darth Maul. You know, I love Darth Maul. He's just so, you know, Horny. I kind of thought with a name like that it would be black and red, but unfortunately it's not. It's a purple variant of the new Corthia bear. Uh, you've probably seen these around Corthia. They're pretty cool. There's, uh, you know, that's kind of the new design of creature in Corthia, and this is the purple bear mount, and it's fairly easy to get, as I mentioned before. So, let's just jump straight into it. Uh, for this one, you're going to need an item called Tasty Mushroom. In fact, you're going to need 10 of these. 10 Tasty Mushrooms. Now, these are obtained through a treasure on Corthia called the Evasive Mushroom, And you've probably seen these everywhere. They are literally spawned all over the place. There's a ton of different locations they can spawn. I'm going to post all of the kind of possible locations in the description below that you can put into TomTom Tom and Paste, and that'll kind of sprout them around the map. But for me, honestly, I just kind of run around and kind of look for them uh, just kind of in interesting places. Sometimes they're just a little jump puzzle. Sometimes they're just on the floor. Uh, either way, you need to loot as many of these as possible, and you may have already been doing that, and you may already have the item for Dark Maul, and you might not even know it. So, yeah, so the tasty mushrooms come from the evasive mushrooms. Now, I got a ton of footage for this video, and I looted a ton of these mushroom type things, and I'm telling you, this drop rate is low. It is extremely, extremely low. It's either that or I'm super unlucky. Uh, but once you get 10 of these, uh, you can hand these in to Darkmaul. Now, Darkmaul was spawned here in Corthia. It's just kind of a neutral NPC that you can just kind of walk up to. Essentially, once you get up to him, you have to click the Tasty Mushroom and he'll let you ride him for two minutes. Now, it's extremely important you do ride him for the entire two minutes. If you don't ride him, apparently that doesn't count towards the mount. So you need to do this 10 times. And there's a bit of wiggle room here where you don't have to do it like every single day. You could do it all at once. It's up to you, really. Apparently, you could get up to five mushrooms per day. So the minimum amount of time to get this mount is two days. But as I said, it is a very low drop rate from these mushrooms. And I believe you only get one chance a day to loot the mushrooms as well. So once you have 10, you've got to ride in for two minutes each time. And once that's done, it'll kind of credit towards the mount. And then once you've done it the tenth time, you obtain the mount Dark Maul. Now I use Handy Notes Shadowlands for this. It's super handy, pun intended. Uh, essentially, it will keep a record of how many times you've done it on the map. Uh, as you can see here, I've done it once here. And yeah, that's just super handy. Like really easy to keep track of it. You know, you always know where Dark Maul's going to be. He doesn't spawn like in other places, and he's always there anyway. So if you've got some tasty mushrooms in your bag, give it a go and uh, and and go out there and go get the Dark Maul mount, which is one of those cool mounts. As I said, um, there is a couple of different variants of this mount, but this is the purple one, as I mentioned before. So that's basically it, guys. It's a really simple mount to get. Uh, TLDR, 10 tasty mushrooms, take it to Dark Maul, ride them for two minutes each time, and the mount is yours. So very, very easy mount to obtain over in Corthia. Guys, let me know if you have any more information about this. If you have, like, the cheat codes to get more mushrooms or something like that. I don't know, man. Like, it's an interesting mount, and uh, good luck going to get it. So before I go, guys, I have to give a massive shout-out to my amazing patrons, YouTube channel members, and Twitch subs. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to support the channel in any of those ways, links are down below. So leave a like on this video, guys, if you liked it, and subscribe if you haven't. We've also got a partner Discord channel with over 3,000 members. And as I mentioned, I am now streaming on twitch.tv slash MrGM. If you want to see me streaming 9.1, the Burning Crusade Classic, uh, anything like that, any upcoming World of Warcraft as well, I'm over on twitch.tv slash MrGM every single day. And with that, guys, I'll see you next time.